Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again, and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video, I have another mystery box. This is 30-something polishes that I found on the Facebook Nearly No Rules Nail Polish group. So I'm really excited to see what all we have here. Let's go ahead and just dig in. Oh, and if you're new, hi, my name is Caroline, and I love to talk about nail polish, and I love to unbox polishes like this that are a surprise to me as well. All right, let's go ahead and start over here in the corner. Ooh, what is this? This is already a pretty unique bottle shape to me. This is a spell polish. Wow. So this is like a higher end, like boutique -y polish, if I'm remembering correctly, like an indie boutique. So it is a spell polish, and this one is called Dancing on the Ceiling. This is a beautiful summer blue, full of micro iridescent glitter in a bunch of different colors, actually. I'm seeing a teal blue and maybe a very soft purple. Off to a great start. So that was Spell Dancing on the Ceiling. Oh, I should mention too, what I've been doing lately in my mystery boxes is if I run across a polish that I'm just not that into, I will try to let you guys know that it will show up on my D-stash instead of having to do a D-stash video later on. So let's go ahead and look at bottle number two. Ooh, this one's a polish. Ooh. So this one is called King of Cups. Ooh, this is nice. So it almost has like a brown base to it. It's full of that pink shimmer and holographic flakies. I also want to say I see like maybe a gold holographic particle in here. That is really beautiful. Browns often are not my cup of tea, but I like the combination on this one. I love the shimmer and actually I'm just noticing on camera the shimmer shifts quite a lot so you see a dark pink here but I also see green and gold you're seeing the pink up there at the face of the bottle and in fact on camera you can see it shifting to purple as well so that's a really beautiful combination that was polishes king of cups all right next one Ooh, I think this is an Emily Molly that's stuck in this little bubble wrap hang on come on get out Ooh, this is, yep, Emily Damali, and it is a limited edition 280. I'll have to see if I have this one. I have quite a few of her limited editions. Emily Damali is, in fact, one of my favorite brands. This is like a dusty metallic purple. It is full of holographic glitter and maybe even holographic shards. I wonder if this is one of her magnetics. Hang on. It is. Look at that. So the metallic silver pulls into the magnetic line and leaves you with a darker purple base. That's pretty. So that was Emily Damali, limited edition 280. All right, next one. Ooh, we have one from Fancy Gloss. This is Mystery Box, Mystery Box prototype from 2018, and it's a hollow. Wow. This is very holographic. The base of this is kind of a dusty purple, maybe like a dusty raisin color. That hollow is spectacular on this though. And I do love these colors, so I don't think I have a holographic version yet. So that'll be going in my collection for sure. So that's Fancy Glosses Mystery Box Prototype 2018. On to the next. Ooh, what's this one? is this? A new to me brand. This is Firecracker Lacquer and this is called Teal the End of Time. Very nice. Definitely a teal. Um, it's almost like a deep appetite color if you're familiar with the gemstone. Um, sort of that deep, well, teal. Um, it's also got a beautiful pink glass fleck shimmer to it and I want to say there may be like an iridescent micro glitter to it as well. Very beautiful combination and definitely a new to me brand. So that was Firecracker Lacquer, Teal the End of Time. Next one. Ooh. Ooh. This is a different dimension called Ice to Meet You. Ooh, look at that. 
So this one is a white Crelly. It does look pretty opaque and there is a lot of blue and silver glitter and shards in here. I see holographic as well as metallic. That is a fun combination. I think that'll be a really fun winter polish and I don't have anything like it. So that one was different dimension. Ice to meet you. Next one. Ooh, this one's an alter ego. I can tell from the shape of the bottle. Ooh, so that one is, oh my goodness, <laughs> all tarf, aka better concrete. Concrete? Concrete. Uh, in any case, it's a polish pickup exclusive. And check this color out. This is a mustard yellow. Might be a little bit brighter than mustard, actually. And it is full of like a red or a rose gold, maybe a combination of both flaky. That is really intriguing. It's not exactly a color I would have chosen for myself, but I like it. Look at all the little speckles are the rose gold or the red. I can't quite tell. Oh, and there's also a shimmer in there. I don't know if you can see that copper flashing against the yellow. Very cool. And I know I don't have it. Like I said, I wouldn't have picked it myself for me, but that is really cool. Definitely worth trying. So that one was Alter Egos, Altarf, AKA Beta, Beta Concrete. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. The brand. Yes. The name of the polish. No. Okay. Up next. Ooh. This looks like a beauty. It's Aurora. This one is called It's Brittany B. <laughs> this one is a polish pickup exclusive as well. This is beautiful. This is right up my alley. It's purple. There are metallic flakies in here. There are iridescent flakies as well. This is a beautiful combination and I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. You can see some iridescence in there as well as those multi-chrome flakies. Beautiful combo. So that was Aurora. It's Brittany B. All right. Up uh, next, we've got a pretty beautiful unlimited. Ooh. This one is called 271. Hmm. Did this have a name? Nope. I don't think this one has a name. Although I know on some of her bottles, she has the names up on the top. So I'm not sure if that's a name or maybe a prototype, but this is a dusty denim blue and it's one of her kitchen sinks. There's a lot going on here. You've got flakies and glitter and shards. You've got holographic and metallic and probably iridescent. Look at that one right there. Sort of a larger hex shape. Very beautiful. This is a nice tone of blue. I will have to come back and compare it to a few of my other polishes and see if this is something that I like or that's, uh, well, I was going to say unique enough to my collection, but this is pretty unique. Um, but see if the color itself stands out among some of my other blues, but it's a really pretty color. So that was pretty beautiful. Unlimited 271. Up next, it looks like we've got a pink. Yeah, from Glam. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. So it's glam polish. Dig a little deeper. This is somewhat of like a bubblegum pink, but it's full of metallic glitter and gold flakies. Look at that combo. This is not normally a pink that I would pick for myself. Usually I prefer the brighter, deep, saturated pinks. Uh, that was Zoya's Lola, but I love the purple. Uh, if you are new to my channel, purple is definitely a favorite color of mine. And oddly enough, in, in this combo, I really like this soft gold flaky. So I'll have to try this one on, but I'm liking it so far. So that one was glam polished. Dig a little deeper. Next up, what is this? Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a Saki Cosmetics. And it is called Hysteria. It is an HHC polish from October 2021. And this is a beautiful fall polish. It is a multi-chrome in a red to bronze, gold and green. Look at that shift. 
Wow. This is definitely a fall polish for me. I will have to compare it to some of my other fall shades in this same type of uh, finish. But I'm not sure that I have anything quite like it. This specific tone that is in the base, I almost want to say is like a green. Let's see. Yeah, I almost want to say that the base is like a deep olive green which really sets it apart from any other multi-chrome that I have that's in this family. It's, it sort of murkifies it. <laughs> I know it's not even a word, but it makes this have a very interesting deep green tone to the polish, which is really cool. So I don't have it for sure. So like I said, I will have to compare it to some other polishes, but that's a really beautiful color. So that was Saki Cosmetics Hysteria. Next one, <gasps> another glam. This one is I Cursed the Day You Came to Sleepy Hollow. My guess is this came out in a Sleepy Hollow collection. This is interesting. So I'm wondering if this was only a couple of layers or one layer because this one you almost don't even tell that it's a very light gray. At least that's what I'm seeing in the bottle is a very light gray. There is of course a load of red glitters in holographic and metallic. Then on top of that you have a beautiful shifting shimmer. You see gold, orange, and red. This is beautiful. I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. Very unique and I'm loving the shifts. I don't know if you can see that bright, bright gold actually in person. I see electric green behind it. I think on camera you're catching the gold to bronze, but that is really cool. So that was Glam Polish. I cursed the day you came to Sleepy Hollow. Next up, ooh, I think this one might be another new to me brand. This is Philly Loves a Lacquer, and this is called 2 AM Coffee Run. This is a very deep espresso brown with some holographic to it. I will say this is the type of color brown that I was saying is not usually me. And it's because it sort of runs on the ash side of colors that don't seem to mesh well with my skin tone. So unfortunately, even though it is a new to me brand, I think I will go ahead and de-stash this one. Um, hopefully I have another Philly Loves Lacquer in here so I can add one to my collection. So first one up for the de-stash. All right, next up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. We've got a wildflower lacquer. This one is Mudita. This came out in the Cheers to Five Years collection. You guys, I love this polish. So I, I do already have it, but this polish is stunning. It's one of those colors where I, I, I'll I, have to decide if I have to have a backup bottle or not because, as I've said before, let's face it, how many bottles have I used up in the last few years? But this is such an amazing combination. Do you see everything in there? You see the blue twinkling away from the holographic glitter? All the different colors that the flakies turn to? This is just such a beautiful, beautiful polish. I've seen people do this as a layering like a topper and it is beautiful also beautiful on its own if I'm remembering correctly this one is a bit on the sheer side uh, but yeah gorgeous gorgeous color so that was wildflower lacquers Mudita really excited about that one that is gorgeous all right done with our first layer on to layer number two Ooh, wow this is a Colors by LaRoe. This is Dangerous Thoughts, the Journey Collection from, oh my goodness, 2016. Wow. So I don't think I have this one. I'm pretty sure I was not collecting nail polish as adamantly as I am in 2016. So that is beautiful. Deep, deep blue. I see teal and purple in here as well. I don't know if all of those shifts are coming across. It is a darker polish, but it has beautiful shifts. I also see some like micro 
dark blue glass fleck in there. I'm not sure if that's... Yeah, there you go. Those twinkles right there. Another gorgeous new polish to add to my collection. So that was Colors by Laro. Dangerous Thoughts. Next up... Ooh, we've got another one from Spell. Wow. That is also a new to me brand. I have heard of them before, but I have not added them to my collection. So this will be the second one. So this is Spell Polish Summer Rain. Look at that. So this is somewhat in the color family that I have been de-stashing some and keeping others. I will have to try this out with the colors that I've already kept just to make sure that it is still fairly unique. But this is a beautiful deep green full of shift and shimmer and hollow. Look at that hollow. That's beautiful. Let's take a look at it on the brush, see if we can get a color representation here. Nice deep green, sort of like a evergreen green. So yeah, we'll have to compare it to some other colors that I have, but so far we're adding it to the collection. So that was Spell Polish, Summer Rain. All right, the next one. Ooh, what's this one? I see two ladies. Ooh. This is a pretty beautiful unlimited called Crystal Flame. This is a January polish pickup from 2018. Ooh. So January 2018 was, I believe, the year that I found polish pickup and hence by extension a lot of other uh, indie brands. And I don't think I, I got this. This was not a color that I would have been drawn to in 2018. So I'm pretty sure I don't have this in my collection. It is sort of a pink leaning red, full of iridescent and metallic flakies. And I want to say glitter and like a red metallic or a deep fuchsia. And you see that shift in the like glass fleck as well. I'm seeing pink in person and you're seeing green to blue on camera very pretty. So that was Pretty Beautiful Unlimited Crystal Flame. Next up, ooh, what is this one? Very intriguing green. Ooh, it is a fair maiden called River Monster. This is a mythical creature, PT. I'm not sure what PT would be offhand, but look at that. Wow. I like this. So this is a like jungle grassy green and what is really special about this is the multi-chrome shift in there see the blue to purple pink and gold even some orange and magenta wow wow that is look at the colors there wow that is really beautiful this is a really unique shade of green and I definitely don't have it, so another one to add to my collection. That was Fair Maiden, a river monster. Next one. Ooh, another beautiful green. And it's a polished for days. This one's called Almost There from Once Upon a Dream 2022. Wasn't I just saying I wanted more from this collection? <laughs> The only one that I have is Simba, which was the orange from that collection. This one, I believe, would be from Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. And it's a beautiful, beautiful green. Look at the glow on this one. It is more of a peridot green with a bright green to gold flash. Look at the blue that you see popping up there at the edge of the bottle. This is gorgeous. There's hollow and that shimmer. Wow, there's something else twinkling away in here too. I think there might be iridescent flakies. Wow, that is stunning. So that was polished for days, almost there. Definitely adding that to my collection. All right, and to the next. Ooh, what is this one? Oh, this is a Live Love Polish. This one is called Kraken. I don't think I have this one either. This is like a silver holographic loaded with multi-chrome flakies and gold flakies as well. Look at that combination. I really like this combination. The 
silver holographic base type polishes are really actually growing on me and I know I don't have this one at least I'm 99% sure I don't have this one yet so that's another one for the collection that's live love polish Kraken on to the next Ooh, what's this I think this one might be a never enough am I mistaken no it is an 1850 this is Orion's belt from polish pickup January 2019 another one I don't have this is a beautiful blue almost has like a pinch of purple in there there's a load of holographic in here and check out that glow you've got a beautiful glass fleck shimmer in red to green to gold look at that combo that is gorgeous definitely very fitting reminds me of something you would see in the sky so that was 1850 artisan polish orion's belt another one that i'm adding to my collection next up Ooh, another bright blue whoa so this one's top shelf lacquer shot off the press Ooh, interesting okay hang on giving this a good old shake so this looks like a topper you've got these beautiful blue glitters in a lot of different sizes look at those huge hexes all the way down to some teeny tiny ones and then you've got some beautiful holographic in the suspension base that's going to be a gorgeous topper i might have to put this on my summer rack because this will look gorgeous over a bunch of different bright summer colors and it's another one I don't have yet, so that was Top Shelf Lacquers, shot off the press. Alright, next up, ooh, we've got a different dimension. <laughs> Almost throwing the polish around. Different dimension, this one is Mystery Prototype 303. This is from the Mystery, Mystery Prototype Extravaganza. Look at that! Wow. So this is a soft gray, full of I don't even know, like glass fleck and holographic shifts galore. Wow, I don't think this is coming across nearly so dynamic as it is in person. This has so much glow to it. It's got a brilliant green with some speckles of red. You've got the holographic, I think, flex or maybe micro glitter. I think they actually might be micro glitter. But that shift also has some red to blue. That blue also in person has some purple in it. This is definitely one I need to swatch. I think this is going to look gorgeous. So that was Different Dimension. Mystery Prototype 303. Another one I definitely don't have yet. All right, next one. Ooh, another blue. Ooh, this one's Darling Diva Blue Diamond. A beautiful blue holographic that is a gorgeous like sapphire blue I have to compare it to Zoya dream just to see how it compares I'm pretty sure Zoya dream is darker and scattered but just to give you an idea of the color that is beautiful I will again have to come back and compare this to some of my other blues in this color family but i don't have this one and it's a gorgeous shade so that was darling diva polish blue diamond next one Ooh, i think this is another different dimension it is Ooh, this one is called cold hands warm heart from december 2021 polish pickup Ooh, this is another one that i don't have yet and it's gorgeous this is more of a white maybe an off-white just to compare it to the other one which was the mystery prototype definitely has more of a gray tone this one i think compared to a white might be ever so slightly gray leaning I'm trying to find a white polish here hang on here we go this is just a basic white polish from wet n wild so yeah it maybe has a pinch of gray to it but I think on the nail with a soft, soft color like this, it might still come off looking like an off-white. And this one has uh, flakies in it, like holographic flakies. And I think there's still holographic glitter. But look at that shimmer. 
bright, bright pink or magenta. You've got gold and green, orange. This is another gorgeous, gorgeous polish and another one that I definitely don't have. So that was different dimension. Cold hands, warm heart. Last one on level number two. This one looks like a pretty beautiful unlimited. Yeah. So that's a pretty beautiful unlimited prototype 232. And this is a beautiful mulberry shade. Another kitchen sink polish with a lot of different glitter flakies and hollow. This is a gorgeous tone of polish. I'm going to be repeating myself, but again, I'm going to have to come back and compare this to uh, colors in this family from my collection. But so far, I really like it. Look at that one. I can't tell if that's a flaky or like a diamond glitter in there, but very unique. So that was pretty beautiful. Unlimited prototype 232. All right, on to the last level. We only have one in the D stash so far. All right, what's this one? Ooh, it's another pretty beautiful unlimited. And this one is 282, so I wonder if these are prototypes. Look at that. Wow. So this is definitely a unique mix. I mean, look at that. You've got a huge circle glitter there. Where's the other glitter? Maybe, nope, maybe that's the biggest glitter I see. But you've got flakies, hex glitters, square glitters, round glitters, shimmer, hollow, all in like an off-white base to compare it to the different dimension cold hands a warm heart you can see what I mean about it being essentially a, an off-white color mm, might just depend on your skin tone as well but that's a very very unique polish I will have to try this one out and see if I like it on but this could be really really fun so that's pretty beautiful unlimited 282 Next one. Ooh, we've got a round bottle. Ooh, this is from EDK. This is the clown from HHC April 20. Look at that. So this is a red. If you are new to my channel, reds are a color that I'm still getting my head wrapped around <laughs> in some tones. And this is one of those tones that I still haven't quite gotten uh in my wheelhouse i more prefer the pink leaning reds or the berry shades uh, but this definitely has a lot going on it's somewhat of a jelly base loaded with flakies and hollow i think i see some micro like multi-chrome or other glitter particles in there it's definitely unique, but I think I will go ahead and put that in the D stash. I just don't see myself reaching for that just yet. So we'll go ahead and let someone else enjoy it. That was EDK's The Clown. Only two D stash so far. All right, on to the next. I see different dimension. Wow. Wow. Okay, this one is, uh, I don't know from Black Friday 2021 and it was a door it was doorbuster number 7 wow wow <laughs> i'm rather speechless on this one this is stunning i think it's a dark blue yeah look at that it's a very dark blue almost navy but it's got a pinch of brightness to it there is of course a load of hollow in here and look at that shimmer this is gorgeous. Wow. Really unique to my collection. And I know I don't have this one. That is stunning. My speechlessness says it all. I, it's, this is amazing. So that's different dimension. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. This is, wow. My jaw is on the floor with that one. All right. Next up. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> the native war paints. Ooh. This one is Carnival Lights at Nights. Ooh, okay. So this one is, actually is the base purple or blue? Like a deepened blue. And then it's got a bunch of glitters and shimmer. Look at that combo. I'm seeing blue and red, gold. 
almost reminds me of like fireworks. That is a really cool combination. I will say it's definitely unique to my collection and I'm pretty positive I don't have it. I think I'll have to do a swatch on me and see if I like it on. It's definitely a neat polish though. Yeah, I'll have to see if I like this one on. So that was Native War Paints, Carnival Lights at Night. All right, next one. Ooh, we've got another pretty beautiful Unlimited, and it's a thermal. This one is July Polish of the Month for 2020, and it's called Night Sparkles. Ooh, that has all kinds of pretties going on. Holographic glitters, you've got multichromes and glitters in different colors. I'm seeing spots, uh, spots of like magenta or purple. I don't know if you can see those couple right there. Loaded with those holographic glitters. And then those are more like a deep green. That is a very unique combination. Um, I'm wondering if this is the cold or warm state. Either way, it's really unique to my collection. So we'll go ahead and compare it again to some of the blues that I have, but this one seems pretty unique. So that was Pretty Beautiful Unlimited, July Polish of the Month 2020, Night Sparkles. Next one, ooh, I think this is my, might be another, yeah, fancy gloss. This one does not have a name. So this one is a pink, pretty, pretty bubblegum pink, um, maybe slightly darker, because I think I said that, uh, called this one by Glam, which was Dig a Little Deeper Bubblegum Pink, but they are two different shades. The one from Glam is a bit lighter. So this one might be more of a Pepto-Bismol sort of a pink. Maybe not as bright as a Pepto. In any case, it is a deeper shade of Pepto, if that makes any sense. Um, there's also a lot of flecks of shimmer going on. Gold, a little bit of red. This particular tone is still not my favorite. I think my preference is for it to either be darker or more saturated or lighter. So I think for the time being, we will go ahead and put this in my D stash and let someone go ahead and enjoy it. So that was Fancy Glosses, no name. Next up, ooh, we've got another green. Ooh, this one is from, I think, Envy. And this one is the Indie Shop number six from July 2017. Wow. And yeah, that was Envy Lacquer. So I definitely don't have this one. Like I said, uh, 2018 was essentially the year that I really started getting into Indies. So this is pre that. <laughs> um, it is a really pretty shade of green. There is a lot going on. Look at all that. This is again sort of in that same range of greens that I have been de-stashing a lot of and keeping a few. To compare to the one that I am keeping so far from this de-stash, we've got uh, Spell Polish Summer Rain. They are different, not saying they're dupes at all. They're just somewhat in the same genre of greens, if you will. I think I still will keep the Spell Polish, but I think I will we'll go ahead and pass the Envy polish along. There is a lot of predominantly gold things going on, and I have already saved at least one other polish from my collection that I think I also got in a mystery box that is a similar shade of green that does have like a gold hollow to it. So I think for me, that's enough. So we'll go ahead and pass this one on to someone else. That was Envy Lacquer, the Indie Shop number six. Next one, Ooh, we've got another different dimension, and it's a purple, woohoo! This one is Peace on Earth. This one came out for Black Friday 2021, and it was Doorbuster number three. Ooh, this is right up my alley, you guys. A beautiful juicy purple loaded with flakies. Wow. Oh yeah, that, that one's going to my collection. That is beautiful rainbow of flakies. Wow. Wow. And I almost want to say that the other flakies that I'm seeing, the little metallic flecks, are like purple. Either that or it's a silver holographic, uh, or maybe just silver that's catching a lot of the purple from the jelly base, but that is stunning. So that was a different dimension piece on earth. All right, just four more to go. Up next we have... A flaky bomb. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. We've got another one of my favorite brands. This is Ethereal Snow Frost. Wow. So I think this one is actually one that I do have. Let me just check here. Yep, I do already have this one. So I will go ahead and pass this on in a D stash, but this is a stunning, stunning polish. It is a flaky balm of gorgeous iridescent flakies and shimmer. It is definitely not quite as green as I feel like it's coming across on camera. I'm seeing a lot of pinks. There is some green, but there's also pinks, purples, and blues. Very gorgeous and a lovely polish to put on other colors. So that was Ethereal's Snow Frost, if I didn't say that. Next up, ooh, I think we've got another polish. Yeah, polish Cottontail from Bunny Charity. Look at that. Wow. So I don't know if that's going to come across very well on camera. This is a very light blue leaning gray. It is full of multi-chrome flakies, iridescent flakies. And what's really cool is those iridescent flakies come across as sort of a glow. That is a gorgeous combination. This type of flaky I love in this kind of a base. So definitely one that I want to add to my collection and I'm, I know I don't have it yet. So that's polishes cottontail. Next one, just two more to go. This one's another different dimension. And it's a hollow. Oh my gosh. Wow. This one is Topaz in a bottle. This is from Young Wild and Polished Glisten and Glow Different Dimension Collaboration. I definitely don't have this and this is spectacular. This is in that beautiful shade of mint that I absolutely adore for spring. This one I think needs to go on my summer rack because this is just dazzling. Look at all the colors. It is packed full of shimmer, packed full of hollow. The different dimension hollow comes in a couple of different sizes. So we've got the linear and the larger particle. Wow. This is another that I have my jaw on the floor for. Really excited about that one. So that was different dimension. Topaz in a bottle. Wow, that is gorgeous. All right, just one more. And it looks like we're ending with a Patty Lopez. This one is called Fashion Dress. Came out in Polish Pickup for November 2020. Oh my gosh. That is quite the party in a bottle. You've got a shimmer base full of glitters. You've got holographic and metallic and everything from hex to round, maybe even square, uh, mainly in like a fuchsia and turquoise. Wow. Maybe some red in there. Can't quite tell. Pretty sure I don't have this one. I'll have to play around with this and see if I like it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty sure enough formula to be able to use as a topper and it could make a really fun polish for the summer so we'll see if if I can't try this over a color or two so that was Indie by Patty Lopez fashion dress and that was the last one all right so that was another 38 polishes unboxed from a really fun mystery box hopefully you guys enjoyed so far only five of those are going to be de-stashed with the exception of possibly the wildflower lacquer uh, if I can convince myself that I don't need a backup of it, because <laughs> it is a really beautiful polish. Uh, these are just some of my favorite bottles from the D-Stash. Let me know down below which ones were your favorite. I got a lot more different dimension, and a couple of those were just absolutely dazzling. Had my jaw on the floor, so really, really excited about those and the polish for days, just to name a few. Hopefully you guys like this. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I have at least one more mystery polish box coming up after this, if not two. I've been getting a couple more, <laughs> so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in that next one.